So we've been having some questions on um, some of the Chanel bags that we had posted on our blog, and we thought that we'll do this segment together, um, talking about some of the um, Chanel bags that we have currently, and in case you guys are in the market for one and have any questions, um, hopefully we'll be able to address them in this video. You want to start? Oh, okay, sure. Okay, so I have, um, I only own three Chanel bags, and I, I'm only going to feature two today because uh, one of the Chanel bags that I have, the WOC, I have the same one in black patent, which is this right here. Um, I really love this bag because there's a couple, several different ways to wear this bag, um, which I'm going to show you quickly. So it comes with this long chain. And I like to, when, I don't know, like a casual look, I just like to strap it along like as a shoulder bag, right across like this. So the second option to wear this bag is you can um, strap the shoulders, gosh this is so awkward, like this, and hide it in the inside, and then these straps become doubled. You can wear it like this. Can you see that? Yeah. So it looks cute. Um, and the third way I like to wear it is, um, especially this is perfect for evening wear. If you just want to use it as a clutch, what you can do is you can tuck all the, the straps inside the purse and just hide it, clasp it, and there you go. You have an evening clutch. Very Aww. nice. So this is a really small bag. Um, you can't fit much in here. Basically the inside looks like this. And there's a lot of credit card slots where you can um, put your driver's license and uh, your credit cards. And I usually just put uh, my cell phone in here and like maybe a lip gloss and then my keys. That's all I can pretty much tuck in. Oh, okay. so the WOC is, stands for Wallet on Chain. Yep. And my second one I have is, I'm, I don't know the name of this, sorry guys, I don't know, but it's um, <laughs> it's this beautiful Amazing. clutch okay. that is, oh my gosh, so gorgeous and it's, it's so soft, <laughs> so soft. Um, this actually has a lot more room, oh, I have tissue paper to keep the formation of it. But this is what the inside looks like. Um, it's pretty deep, so you can fit more than what you can fit in the WOC. And I usually like to wear this um, when I have somewhere fancy to go, like to a nice dinner or to weddings. Um, and actually, I've seen this worn during the daytime, um, and it looks really chic and very sophisticated. So that's also another option. But I. I don't, I, I haven't worn this during the daytime so far. I usually just keep this for the evening wear. So that's another um, design on the Chanel bag that if you guys find useful. Nice. That's it. So what I have is, um, I have two Chanel's that I own and one of them is the classic flap. Um, and it is in the caviar. Um, this is the medium size flap, I believe. Mm -hmm. And all it is, there's the classic um, Chanel C logo on the front. And then you open it up, and it has a pocket on the side here. As well as, um, here's my chapstick. <laughs> but here's what it looks like. And this is great for if you want to wear it for like a casual look, because it does the same thing where um, you can have it long. A long chain to wear over the body or you can also shorten the chain by pulling it up and then you can be, it can be used as a shoulder bag so and that can be done used for evening and if you want you can also bring the chain in as well and then tuck it to make it clutch if you want to um, but a lot of people I've seen have used it either I think it's the long chain that they usually use for this one so, I mean, it doesn't really carry too much. I mean, it carries more than the weekend, um, the WOC. But still, like, you know, I want a little bit more room during the daytime because I feel, I feel like I carry a lot of stuff. Anyways, so then that's one of them. 
And I like the caviar feel because it's a lot sturdy. Um, I don't have to feel like I, you know, will scratch it too often. I know there's a lot of lamb, lambskin ones, but they really scratch easily. And I, I'm sometimes a klutz. <laughs> so with the caviar, you know, it's it's very sturdy. But even then, I still get a little nervous. Like, I, you know, I don't want to like wear it too often because I don't want to, you know, like damage it or anything like that. But I need to get over my fear of that. <laughs> Okay, and then the second one I got is, um, this one I actually got from Paris. It is from the Rue de Cambon, like the actual um, flagship of Chanel. And I was so giddy when I was there. <laughs> but um, this is the 2.55, and I believe this is the large. And this is also, it's a different type of um, feel. I don't think it's the caviar, but I forget what what it is um but and then it has a different class it doesn't have the c logo but it has you know just the regular one here but it does have the logo right on the bottom like the actual logo and i love the chain because it's not the typical um leather through the chain it's just all chained up and i love that it's this color um and this is the same thing that you can wear it long or you can shorten it and you can wear it um, over sh like a shoulder bag, but I, I, lo I definitely love this. It's a little bit bigger, and inside you can definitely fit more stuff. And it's the same thing um, flap in the front, and then you know, a little bit more. But this is definitely not a caviar, so it can get scratched easily. Although the texture, the way it's texturized and everything, is still, um, even though there's like, if there were like any type of scratches, it might be hidden within that. So that's always a good feature. Um, I bought, and the reason why, you know, with my husband, he was very, very adamant of not getting me another Chanel because, um, you know, <laughs> it's the same one, but I had tried to convince him that the chain was different and the class were different. So, and while we were at, in Europe, uh, the price was really, really good. The Euro dollars was good. And when you purchase, um, the prices also in Europe are cheaper, like in a, um, less costly than the one in US because I guess with the import cost it's not there and then when you also get your VAT taxes back it's like the European taxes you actually get that back and you get it cheaper so I actually saved $400 on this bag um, versus if I were to pay it here in the US and I think I also got it before the price hike as well so if you were to go to Europe and you were thinking about getting one um, a Chanel get it there you'll definitely save a lot more money than you were to buy it here. Because I think, like, sometimes, I don't know, these days they haven't really been participating, like Neiman and Seth, mm -hmm. but when they have gift card events and you spend, like, a certain couple thousand dollars, you get, like, these crazy gift cards back, like $500 gift cards. So in the there end, is like, the, Yeah, way. so there is that perk as well. So I guess it depends. So always yeah. check. Yeah. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And um, that's it. Have See you next time. Okay. Right? Bye. Bye. Should I start from? Can you start mm. from the beginning? <gasps> Are you serious? <laughs> Let's just make it a fluid one. Oh. It's sparking from the beginning. Oh my god. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> like during the evening, if you wanna put it across the shoulder, what you can do is just uh do <laughs> This is not that hard. <laughs> Let's get it together, Linda. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Oh, my brush. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any more questions, let us know. Oh, my bags. Okay. <laughs>